Hello friends. Today we learn cost centers and cost category in tally. It can very helpful to easily allocate cost to each of your organizational units. For example, a department or an employee, etc. And effortless analyze the financial inflow and outflow of all these units. We can allocate all expenses or all incomes categorized using cost center and cost category. You can use cost center to track expenses of each employee while cost category can be used to see the effectiveness of each product project. For example, commission allowed to the selling agent Kiran, Kishore and Ajay. Here, the selling agent is a category and the employees are under the cost center. It means here we allocate all the amount or which amount you paid to the selling agent is categorized to the different cost center or allocate to the cost center. Or if a salary paid to the employee of a different branch like the branch name is under the cost category and employee or staff name is are under the cost center. The one entity is consider the cost category under this all the sub entities are called cost center. For example, if we take a fixed assets a category under that the building land premises are cost centers. For example, here a selling agent is the cost category and under this category there are a different commission agents like Kiran, Ajay and Kishore or under the branch, the branch is the category, a different branches of the companies are under the category, the branch name is under the category and the employee or staff name is the under the cost center. The Ram, Sham and Radha are the cost centers and Mumbai branch is the category. To enabling the cost center and cost category, press F11 for company features, go to accounting features and allow maintain cost centers to S and more than one payroll oblique cost category also to S. For creating cost category, go to gateway of tally, accounts info, cost category and then create. For example, here we enter the category name is like sales agent and accept the screen. Cost center creation, gateway of tally, accounts info, cost centers and create. Here, first select a particular category. If you have more than one category, then enter a name of each sales agent or each commission agent or employee to whom we paid a salary one by one. Let's take an example. Company allow commission to the following sales agent. The sales agents are Kiran, Kishore and Ajay. The commission will be allocated 1200, 1400 and 1500 respectively. Here the sales agent is the category and the employee or commission employee or sales agent name are under the cost center. The, we paid the commission to the sales agent, that's why commission allowed is the ledger. So let's make an entry in the tally. So open your tally, press F11, go to accounting features and allow under the heading cost public profit center management, maintain cost centers to S and more than one payroll public cost category also S and I accept it. Then press escape key in the gateway of tally, go to accounts info, cost category and cost centers are here. So create a cost category first, 
create like sales agent the allocate revenue items will be yes here and non revenue items is no here the revenue items means to allocate all commissions or expenses if you paid then allocate revenue items will be yes and if you create a category for the non revenue items like capital or uh, assets etc then make non revenue items will be yes here we paid the commission so that's why allocate revenue items is yes here and accept then press escape key go to accounts info again and in that go to cost center create here the default category is prime cost category and we make here or we made here a sales agent category so select the category and enter the employee name the name is kiran kishore and ajay so mr kiran primary then mr kishore and mr ajay and accept then press escape key go to accounting voucher and make the entry for commission allowed so press alter c create a ledger commission allowed here it will give the duplicate entry it means we have already a ledger for commission allowed is here so create or press enter then press control plus enter key if you have already the ledger of commission so make cost centers are applicable yes here when you creating a commission allowed ledger under the group indirect expenses then make cost centers are applicable yes during the ledger creation and accept so enter the total amount so we allocate the commission 1200 1400 and 1500 the amount is so press control plus n for calculator the calculator is appear here plus 1500 the total commission is 4100 so press control plus m to close the calculator and enter the amount 4100 so the category and cost centers window will appear so select the category sales agent and allocate it one by one so kiran 1200 Kishore, fourteen hundred, and Ajay, it's fifteen hundred, and enter. The commission will allowed or commission paid by cash. So take here cash. Write narration. Allowed commission allowed to sales agent. and accept so here you can see the commission allowed the actually a simple entry is commission allowed account debit to cash but we allocate the to whom how many commission we the company will paid so it will display here the kiran is to kiran the 1200 commission is paid kishor and ajay respectively and accept so take one another simple example a second transaction is salary paid to mr ram 5500 to mr sham 7500 and to ms radha rupees 8000 mumbai branch is the category and ram sham and radha 
or the cost centers. So you can directly create during entries the cost center and cost category. So create a ledger salary. We have a ledger here. So check the cost centers are applicable, yes or not. So here cost centers are applicable, yes. Then accept. So enter the total salary. The first salary is 5,500 plus 7,500 and plus 8,000. So total salary will paid 21,000. So close calculator, enter the amount 21,000. So take a category Mumbai branch, but we don't have here the category Mumbai branch. So press ultra plus C Mumbai branch. It means which branch and which employee we pay how many salary you can show here a detail of each branch and each employee's calculation. So allocate revenue items, yes. Press ultra plus C. You see here the category is sales agent. It must to see the category. We have to enter the employee's name under the branch. So take the category Mumbai branch. Create Mr. Ram cost center. Amount will be paid 5,500. Ultra C, Mr. Sham, 7,500 and Miss Radha eight thousand and the cash have not sufficient balance that's why it shows the negative balance here so anyway the cash the salary actually simple entry is salary account debit to cash but to whom we paid a 21,000 salary. Its allocation is here. To Mumbai branch, we paid 21,000 salary. And in that branch, to whom, how many salary will be paid to the employees? So Ram is 5,500, Sham is 7,000, and Radha is 8,000. Enter. If you have any opening balance, so press Ctrl plus Enter. And enter the amount is here, like 2 lakhs. After that, it not shows the negative balance. Salary paid to Mumbai branch. A simple narration here. And X. Then press escape key. Go to display. Statements of account, cost centers, and here category summary. You see here to Mumbai branch will pay 21,000 and all amount is here and commission is paid 4,100. So total is here. It will show the cost center breakup report also to each employee. 